the grade is next. Okay, go ahead. How much for seven? On Nickelodeon. and sounds happy when her mom is near. Listen. Wow, she really knows you. The secret is this magic locket you wear. Xavier Roberts' Cabbage Patch Kids' My Own Baby comes with pacifier and magic locket. Batteries not included. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. That's nice, Harold. But what are they saying? They say that strange, strange dudes will come into my life. Hey! Who are you calling strange? It's the Kellogg's Rice Krispies are the fun part of your complete breakfast. What does your Rice Krispies say to you? It says I got a G.I. Joe rescue monster. I got my little pony. How? You can choose one free with two foods to purchase some Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Hey, why didn't you say so? Two sides are better, better than one. Only Ghost Rider's got two sides of fun. You must! Write a goofy message, take it any place. Turn Ghost Rider over and make a silly face. Three magnetic shapes, one pen, two sides. Your drawings disappear from the magic inside. You must! Ghost Rider, magnetic drawing ploy from Ohio Art. You must! Go one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan right in your own room with Michael Jordan Wall Ball. Best looking backboard I ever seen. Michael Jordan Wall Ball from Ohio Art Sports. Stefan Oriel, son of fencing star Eve Oriel for Nerf Fencing. Stefan plays Nerf Fencing, and he doesn't play with anything else. Get real. Get Nerf. One, two, three. That's the magic. Three times the fun. Shoot three balls instead of one. Nerf. That's the magic. Shoot three balls, no reloading. Nerf. That's the magic. When you get a Burger King kids meal. Hey, don't forget your toy. Gee, thanks. You never know where the fun will pop up. Burger King invites you to meet the stars from Walt Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Now in theaters, there's Belle and the Beast, Cogsworth, and Chip. You can collect all four at Burger King. A new one each week when you buy a kids meal. Mm, the Burger King Kid Club. Your way at Burger King now. Play hungry, hungry hippos. It's fun, 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 fun. They're hungry, hungry hippos. It's hungry, hungry hippos. Whoever gobbles up the most marbles wins. They're hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry hippos from Milton Bradley. Doctor, my belly aches. You've got butterflies in your You've got a chubby horse. Operation. A broken heart, of course. Operation. Remove the pieces and collect your fee, but don't touch the sides. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. Operation. How many days are in a leap year? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your host, a man who always uses Roman numerals, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Make the Grade, the game show that pits three kids against our board in order to win cash and prizes. But before we take a look at the board and the subject that we're going to be dealing with today, let's meet our players for today. Hi, players. Hi, Rob. Hi. We have six graders with us today, and in the red square is Mark. Mark, what do you like to do when you're not playing Make the Grade? Well, I like to build like these like weird science projects, and I also like to work on my computer. Okay, let's let's get back to the weird <laughs> science project here. 
What uh, what do you build when you build these weird science well, projects? Well, I've built two volcanoes. You, you built volcanoes? Two, two volcanoes, yeah. One <laughs> used baking soda and one used some like other explosives. And I've also <laughs> okay. built this fan-powered car. Oh, wait a minute, the volcanoes, did they erupt? You, yeah. you, said, you mentioned explosives. Okay, yeah. uh, kids, don't attempt this at home. <laughs> okay, okay, and what about the car you did? Well, it had a fan in the back and, a cr and that's what powered it. Oh, wow. So you think uh, you like to be a scientist someday as a yeah. career? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck to you and thanks for being with us. Next, we have Megan in the green square. Megan, you were recently in an OM competition. Yeah. Now, what is an OM competition? Um, it's where really like you create, you write your own plays, and you make your own props and costumes, and then you compete against other teams. Oh, I see. What does the OM itself stand for? Odyssey of the Mind. Odyssey of the Mind. Now, you, you wrote some plays yourself? Mm -hmm. What was your play about? Um, Lou Costello lost his sense of humor, and so he hired a detective to go and help him find one. Oh, really? Did he ever find it? Yeah. Yeah, he only did in the end. <laughs> okay. Would you like to uh, make writing a career someday? No. No? <laughs> no, just for fun, huh? What, do you, yeah. what would you like to uh, do then? Some kind of doctor. Oh. oh, okay. I see how those two uh, connect there. Writing, doc. no. <laughs> well, good luck to you, whatever you want to do. And thanks for being with us. Last and certainly not least, we have Frank in the Blue Square. Frank, you're a distance runner? Yes. What events do you run? I run in two miles and 10K. Ten, ki ten, 10 kilometers? Yes. You run 10 kilometers? Yeah. <laughs> That's a long distance. How, uh, what's your time for that? 46 minutes. 46 minutes. And you're only how old? 12. Boy, what do you eat for breakfast, man? <laughs> <laughs> Must have some serious power food there. Would you like to uh, uh, be in the Olympics someday? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? If I Fine. make it. If you make it. Well, at the rate you're going, you're definitely going to make it there. Well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us. Good luck to all of you. Let's talk about how the game is played. As you can see, our board has seven subjects and seven grade levels. And our subjects for today are going to be math, phys ed, music, the arts, home uh, economics, current events, and foods. It's going to be our special elective today, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, in order to win the game, you must answer at least one question in each subject and one in each grade level. Now, you can do that in any pattern that you desire, whether it be diagonally, randomly, or straight across and up and down. If you're the first one to do that, then you win $500 and go on to the honors round where you have a chance at another $600 and a great grand prize. But first, before we get there to all those prizes and, and money, I'm going to tell you guys behind some of those question squares, We've hidden some wild cards, and some of those include the famous Make the Grade Fire Drill, which you know could change the course of a game at a moment's notice. So it's just a little precautionary measure there. Nothing to be afraid of, though. Uh, in the meantime, we have Megan in the green square. You've won the right to go first. So pick a square and get it started on Make the Grade. Um, math for 11. Math for 11 is going to kick it off. Good luck to all of you. In one week, how many different times is it 7 o'clock? OK, Megan. Fourteen. Fourteen times is correct. Okay, Megan. Go ahead. Uh, P.E. for eighth. Phys Ed, eighth grade. Which is biggest, a softball, a baseball, or a golf ball? Okay, Megan. Softball. A softball is the biggest, yes. Yeah. All right, Megan, go ahead. You're in control. Uh, music for ninth. Music ninth. In a classical music piece, which comes first, the cadenza, the prelude, or the coda? Okay, Megan? Prelude? The prelude, yes. <laughs> Megan, <laughs> you're on a roll here. Okay, go ahead and pick another square. Um, art for 12. Art for 12. Isadora Duncan was what kind of performer? Isidore Duncan was a dancer and a choreographer. That's what we're looking for, okay? Known for some of the scarves she's worn. Uh, go ahead, Megan. Um, home economics for seven. Home economics for seven. Which is the best dietary source of calcium? Milk, oranges, or mushrooms? Okay, Megan. Milk. Milk is correct. 
Okay, Megan, uh, you're still in control here. Um, current events for elementary. Current events, elementary. Oh, no. Megan, that's one of our loose squares. You're going to have to uh, put one back. Which one is it going to be? Home economics for seventh. Home economics seventh grade is going to go back on the board as a, as a question. And Megan, you're still in control. Um, current events for um, elementary. Current events. Elementary. What Saturday Night Live character has his own cable TV show with his pal Garth? Okay, Megan. Wayne. Wayne, that's right. Wayne Campbell. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Megan. Um, foods for 10th. Foods, 10th. This is uh, our special elective. I'll name a food and you have to tell me what it is, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, this is, you're going to have to tell me what country it's from, okay? Schnitzel. Okay, Megan. Germany. Germany, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Megan, you're going to, going to ask me some more questions now? Go ahead and pick another one. Um, home economics for seventh. Home economics for seventh. Uh... What tools come in varieties called socket, ratchet, and monkey? Okay, we have uh, Frank over here. I'm sorry, that's Mark. Wrenches. Wrenches is correct, yes. Yeah. Mark, you're on the board now. We have some participation. Go ahead, Mark, you're, you're in control. Art for elementary. Art, elementary. What kind of performer throws their voice to make a wooden dummy appear to talk? Okay, go ahead, Megan. A ventriloquist. A ventriloquist, that's right. Okay, Megan. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Megan, pick another one. There. Um, PE for 12th. Is that 12th grade? What Summer Olympic sport made Greg Louganis famous? Okay, Megan. Diving. Diving, that's right. Uh, Megan, go ahead and pick another one. Uh, math for seventh. Math seventh. If Chad types 45 words in a minute, how many words can he type in 10 minutes? Mark. Go 450. Ahead. 450. And that was answered by Mark at this time. Okay, Mark, go ahead. You're in control. F Phys Ed Elementary. Phys Ed Elementary. In bowling, what objects are knocked down by a bowling ball? Okay, Mark. Pins. Pins, that's right. Mark, you're in control still. Music eighth. Music eighth. Engelbert Humperdinck wrote the music for which opera? Carmen, Nutcracker Suite, or Hansel and Gretel? Okay. Cracker. That is uh, incorrect, uh, Frank. I'll read it again for Megan and Mark. Engelbert Humperdinck wrote the music for which opera? Carmen, The Nutcracker Cracker Suite, or Hansel and Gretel? Which one? Okay, go ahead, Mark. The no, no, Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Um, that's our buzzer ending round one. When we come back, we're going to have some more of Make the Grade on round two after these messages. Just pop in the colored pegs to create favorite characters or their own light pictures. Light, 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 light. Turn on the magic of shine and light. Light Bright from Milton Bradley. Beware. It's the Adams Family Cereal. It's creepy and it's spooky, mysterious and spooky. It's all together spooky, the Adams Family Cereal. The weird part of this complete breakfast. Just wait until you see them. It's like a fairy tree. They taste so good to see them. The Adams Family Cereal.
Big T and Toy Jewelry Surprise, each sold separately. The fun has just begun as we get into round two on Make the Grade. Hello again, everyone. We're back on Make the Grade, and we're going to get started with round two in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at our players' progress. Megan in the green square is leading the pack. She has six subjects and six grade levels. And second is Mark in the red square. He has four subjects and three grade levels. And Frank in the blue square doesn't have any subjects yet, but that's okay because uh, we have lots of questions left. Up there, there's a fire drill somewhere. Anything can still happen. The game's not over yet. Just a little reminder before we get started, if no one's completed the board by the end of round two, the person who's come closest to doing so will be determined the winner and go on to the honors round. But like I said, we have lots of questions left, and anything can still happen. In the meantime, Mark, you're in control of the game, so pick a square and get us started with round two. Foods for elementary. Foods. Elementary. Going to tell me what uh, country this food is known for? Uh, a taco. Okay, Megan? Mexico. Mexico is correct. Yes. Go ahead, Megan. Uh, music for seventh. Music. Seventh. In the song, She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain, what will she be driving? Megan. Six white horses. Six white horses is correct. Okay, Megan, go ahead and pick another one. Home economics for ninth. Home economics, ninth grade. <laughs> That's a fire drill. Okay, come on down, kids. This fire drill is called pinwheel maze. Turn the crank until the maze turns and the ball falls into the bucket. Okay, our fire drill for round two is going to be the pinwheel maze. And I'll explain, explain to you how it's done. What you have to do is turn this uh, wheel here in either direction. And when that's done, our maze is going to begin to rotate. And the ball will begin to fall down. Now, the first one to successfully get the ball through the maze and into this container will be the winner. And the other two must compete for second and third places. Okay? Think you can handle that, Megan? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you too, Frank. What do you think? Yeah. Nothing to it. What about you guys out there? You ready? Okay, when you do this, your lights are going to come on the first one, and uh, the other two, don't forget, must compete for second and third places. On your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, we're looking for the first one to get it through the maze and through the hole. Who is it going to be? This one is a tough one. It takes uh, some delicate maneuvering. Progress, and you never can tell until you get there. So let's see. Who shall be the first one? And it looks like it's still up for grabs, and we have a winner. Okay, come on over here, Frank. Keep going for second and third. Second and third places. What we're looking for. Right. Second and third places is what we're looking for. Okay, we have a second place winner. And that's going to be Mark. And okay, Megan, that's it. Come on over here. Frank, Mark, and Megan, follow me. We're going over to the board. Frank, in that order. Mark, and Megan. Frank, you were first. Take a look at the board and tell me what color you want to return to. Green. Okay, run. Go back to green. Mark, what about you? What color do you want to go to? Go back to red. You're going to red? Yeah. Okay, go back to red. And Megan, you're going to what color? Blue. Huh? Blue. Blue. She's going to blue. Okay, go ahead and talk to us. Maria? The spinner of Pinwheel Maze is Frank, who goes from blue to green. Mark goes back to red, and Megan goes from green to blue. Okay, we had a change of events there. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry, uh, Frank won that fire drill. He went to the green square, and now he is in the lead. And he's going to pick a square and get us rolling again. Home economics for elementary. Home economics, elementary. What type of food made from flour or meal comes in a loaf? Okay. Bread. Yes, bread is correct. <laughs> you have completed the board. You are a winner for today. Okay, Frank, you've won $500, and you're going on to the honors round. But first, we're going to say goodbye to our uh, runners-up, Mark and Megan. Thank you very much for being with us. 
We're not going to send you home empty-handed. We have $50 for each of you and some consolation prizes that Maria is going to tell us about right now. Tell us, Maria. Each of our runners-up receive Funny Color Foam. Funny Color Foam for the bath. Mild, no tear soap that floats, molds, and cleans while you play. Comes in six colors. Funny Color Foam. And any time is right for Hershey syrup or chocolate milk mix and milk. When you're ready to enjoy great-tasting chocolate or strawberry milk, say Hershey's, please. Back to you, Rob. Okay, this is the section of the show that we call the Honors Round, and we're here with our friend Frank, and he's uh, our champion for today. He's won $500, and now he's going to try and win some more cash and prizes in the Honors Round. But my goodness, Frank, that was an incredible win. You won the fire drill, and you went back and answered that last question, put you in the lead when you won that fire drill. My gosh, how do you feel about that? I feel great. <laughs> of course. Hey, it's good. you know what? It could happen. It could happen, and you did it. You beat the odds. Okay, uh, let's talk about how the game is played. Uh, you have three categories from which you're going to choose one. You have 45 seconds to answer seven questions in that category, and your choices for today will be TV, British Things, and Green. Which one would you like? Green. Okay, British Things, TV, out of here. Green has been divided into seven subjects. Answer one question in each subject, you'll win $600 and a great grand prize that Maria's going to tell us about right now. Tell us, Maria. Frank, you'll be going to Universal Studios Florida, home of Nickelodeon Studios, where you can ride the movies, live the action of Blockbuster Movies, the largest motion picture and television studio outside of Hollywood. And you'll be staying at Marriott's Orlando World Center, located in the world's number one vacation destination. It's Central Florida's most spectacular resort, offering championships, golf, tennis, and swimming. Good luck. Okay, before we get started, Frank, you want to say hi to someone out there? Yeah. Hi, Matthew. Who's Matthew? He's a good friend of mine. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hope you're out there. <laughs> Just a little reminder before we get started, uh, Frank, if you don't know the answer to a question or you simply want to pass, just say so, and at the end of the seven questions, I'll ask you another question in the subject that you missed. Okay? Okay. Okay, your 45 seconds is not going to start until I'm done reading the first question. How do you feel? Great. Feel great. <laughs> I won. I feel great. Uh, you ready? Yeah. You guys ready out there? Okay, box Frank's head, and we'll get started. Good luck. Here we go. John Wayne starred in the blank berets. Pass. English. Dr. Seuss wrote blank eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. Yes. Geography. Name the largest island on Earth. Greenland. Yes. Home ec. What is another name for string beans? Green beans. Yes. Music. Blank sleeves is the theme song on the TV show. Green sleeves. Yes. A phys ed. In the NFL, Wisconsin Packers play for what city? Pass. Science. Some scientists blame the what effect for hot weather patterns? Green. The greenhouse effect. Yes. Arts. Oliver and Lisa were a TV couple on what sitcom? Pass. Phys ed. What Major League Baseball team's uniforms are green, yellow, and white? Athletics. Yes, that's correct. Arts. John Wayne Stark. That's the, that's the last question. That's the one from before. Oh, boy. Just a minute, the one you missed, John Wayne starred in the uh, Green Berets. That's what we're looking for. Never seen that, huh? And uh, Oliver and Lisa were a TV couple on the Green Anchors. But you won, you got six of them. Each one is worth $100. That's $600 from before. I mean, $600 plus $500 from before. That's $1,100. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do with all that money, huh? It's $1,100. I'll probably spend it on nails. On nails? On nails? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to spend $1,100 on nails? But not all nails. <laughs> okay. I guess you want to go into the, uh, the carpentry business, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. Nails. We'll be right back after these messages with more of Make the Grade. Don't go away. Make the grade. We'll be back after these messages. The Pirates of Dark Water now set sail with pirates in search of treasure. Join Ren and his courageous crew as they battle Blob and his scabby swags in the swashbuckling adventure, The Pirates of Dark Water. It's so separately. It's the incredible new G.I. Joe Sonic Apache with electronic sound. Listen. Sonic Apache has machine gun noise. And missiles that really fire. Fire! G.I. Joe, 
Sonic Apache with electronic sound. Go, go. I wish I could do that. You can. Huh? You just need practice and breakfast with my Golden Crisp cereal to power up. My energy packed puffed wheat is a delicious part of a complete breakfast. This stuff's great. I'm ready. Power up with Golden Crisp. Help keep you going strong. I've never seen a dog sparkle like this. Ooh, how I love my Starbucks sparkle. without you. New Starbright Sparkles now lights up when you hug her. Batteries not included. Eat so separately. You're watching the First Kids Network. And now back to Make the Grade. Welcome back to Make the Grade. Hey, where's Rob? Rob, what are you doing in the audience? I'm in the audience with my friend, our champion here, Frank. And uh, before we left, we didn't have time to ask you, but Exactly what are you going to do with $1,100 worth of nails? Well, I'm not going to spend it all on nails, so I'm going to probably build forts and tree houses and stuff like that. Oh, so you're going to spend some on lumber and other uh, uh, things that you need for your carpentry, huh? Yeah, a little on lumber. And a little, and, but more on nails, right? Yeah. <laughs> and a very expensive hammer, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Frank. We have some more time here, and we're going to ask some of our people, our uh, kids in the studio audience, some questions and if they can answer them correctly I'm gonna give them a prize starting with this t-shirt this make the great t-shirt take a look at that I like that huh these are really hard to come by <laughs> these are really hard to come by and your friends will be real envious of you if you wear one of these to school okay I'm gonna start with you sitting next to me stand up stand up you're just about the same height standing up sitting down <laughs> what's your think that's funny <laughs> What's your name? Kimberly. Kimberly, how old are you? Five. Okay, you win. No, okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, and Dora, Samantha, and Darren Stevens are all characters on what Nick at Night rerun? Um, Bewitched. I mean, um, um, Bewitched. Bewitched. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> there you go. That t-shirt's for you. Now, who wants to ask, answer the next uh, question? Raise your hand. Okay, you stand up. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie. Okay, Natalie, here's a question for you. Name the all-girl group whose song Hold On became a top five hit in May 1990. The song Hold On. It starts with a W. It's, it starts like a, you know what a, a car tire? What's the name of a car? Okay, that's the first one. <laughs> now, what does a, a mother and father have? Children. Okay, now what's the boy called? Boy. No, the boy called. What? what what's he called? Um, not a daughter, but a... Um, not a daughter, but a... Oh, son. Okay, Will son. <laughs> We're building it here. Okay. <laughs> Wilson Phillips. She's got the first one. I'm going to give it to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, who wants to answer the next question? Okay, okay. Stand up, buddy. Stand up. What's your name? Chris. Chris, I got a question for you. Brigade is the new album by what band featuring the Wilson sisters? Mm. Cover Girls? No, it's not the Cover Girls. It's something that you have inside of your body that beats really fast when you're scared. Heart? Heart, that's right. <laughs> okay. And I have a t-shirt for you. There you go. Okay, he's going to answer the next one. I'm going to go behind me up to you. What's your name? John. John. Stand up, John. Okay, uh, here's a question for you. Name Madonna's first hit song. Um, I don't know. You don't know? No. What, what would you call uh, a Christmas? What kind of day would you call Christmas? Um, Christmas Eve. <laughs> no. Uh, what, well, the kind of day what you would call it, like uh, Christmas or 
uh, New Year's or uh, Easter. Starts with an H. Holiday. Holiday! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we have a prize for you. And do we have time for one more? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We don't have time for one more. But that's okay because we're going to come back again. And But we'll see you guys out there in the audience at home next time on... No! How many days are in a leap year? 366. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. See you next time on Make the Grade. Make the Grade was produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Catch Family Double Dare next. Bring the whole family on Nickelodeon. After Thanksgiving, when you finish the turkey soup, polished off the pumpkin pie, but you're still looking for something to sink your teeth into, try Nick at Night's Little Tune Pig Out. Five hours stuffed with carrot kebabs, roast duck, and fat. If you can catch it, the poultry will be sizzling, because Nick at Night's not just cooking with gas, we're cooking with dynamite. It's Nick at Night's All Night Looney Tune Pig Out. Tonight, starting at 7, 6 Central, on Nick at Night. They think we were crazy, crazy to spring them from the pound, crazy to give them their own show, crazy to let them loose on Nick without a leash. Well, we are crazy for Ren and Stimpy, and there's no limit to how far Nick will go to bring you more. From the depths of Stimpy's stomach to the far reaches of the interstellar deep, where Ren and Stimpy go, we will follow. So strap on your straight jackets and watch Ren and Stimpy, a great way to lose your mind, tomorrow at 11, 10 Central on Nick. Like a dream come true. Cinderella, my gown for the ball. Sparkles and all. Dance with the prince all you like till midnight. Uh oh, don't go. If this glass slipper you can wear, my kingdom I will share. Turn Cinderella's gown inside out, and it's a wedding dress. Cinderella really can come true. Doll fairy godmother costume and play sets each sold separately. You put them together. Ball and play set not available in all areas. Once I had some cupcakes, now I have lots of friends with three different kinds of cupcakes. <laughs> the surprises never end. My cupcakes sparkle. Sparkles on their gowns and hats. Sparkly hair, sugar and shine. Mine's cute and fruity. Fruit colored dresses with curls to match. Look, candy sprinkle cupcakes. With cupcakes, the surprises never end. <laughs> candy sprinkles, sugar and shine, and cutie fruity cupcakes. Each sold separately. It's Hello. The mystery face game. Are you pressing ball? Yeah. A very good question. Did you wear glasses? Yep. Uh-oh. That means it's not you. Hold on. But you. Toodle. You're tough. What a time to guess when you play guess who. Game cards do not actually talk. We're hungry. Play hungry, hungry hippos. It's fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 fun. They're hungry, hungry hippos. It's hungry, hungry hippos. Whoever gobbles up the most marbles wins. They're hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry hippos from Milton Bradley. When the slime guys are rough, it's time for news you can use from Nick. Out in Klamath Falls, Oregon today, the Snowflake Festival begins. Yeah, I hope they get some snow. The weather forecast is for hot and sunny. But we've got something for you here that doesn't depend on the weather. It could rain, sleet, snow, hail. The Ooblix can come down for all that matter. The Looney Tunes Pig Out will be on the air tonight, all night, beginning at 7, 6 Central. On your mark. Get set. Go! And hands across the water, hands across the sky as these two teams rise to the occasion. But only one can kick the bucket to collect 25 ducats and take control of the game where we're glad to lend a helping hand. Hey, let's move back and play some family double there. It's family double there. And now, here's your family double there host, a man who went through Maria. It's family.
family double dare. We have a great time. We make uh, messes out of people and uh, in the process reward them with money and prizes, just like all the other game shows here in America. Well, maybe not just exactly. Let's meet our teams, though. They are dressed in blue and red, and let's start to my left. They come to us from Lima, Ohio, and they are called the Lima Beans. Yeah. They came to visit us here at the Knicks Studios in Orlando, and their names are Ken, Brian, Craig, and Kathy. And uh, you folks live in Lima. What is uh, Lima known for? Lima is known for its General Dynamics tank uh, production. And do you work in that uh, industry, sir? No, I don't. I'm, I'm in advertising in a newspaper there. And what brings you down here to Florida? Vacation. Good. Having a good time? Very good. All right. Wonderful. Hope you win some money. Uh, you have $25. I'm sure you'll get more than that as we carry on. We have a team to my right, though. They are dressed in blue, and they are called the Mojo Magic. They, uh, they kind of live here. They kind of live in Texas. Uh, we'll find out more about this story. But uh, their names are uh, Jeannie, Scott, Summer and Chuck and uh, Scott now tell me are you here you're not here what's the story well we're moving um, we lived in Texas for 10 years and moved to Florida for three and now we're going back to and I understand Texas. everything's in the truck on its way yeah I and mean, we just dropped by for vacation and here we and are here you are huh <laughs> yeah all righty well I uh, hope you win a lot of money uh, welcome to family double dare let's talk about the rules I'm gonna be asking you a question and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue you can always dare them to answer it for double the dollars but be careful because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Oh, that's uh, four times the dollars, Mark. Four and then, times, Monkey. Th th this oh old, my this old man has been like hanging out. All, I have no idea who he is. That, that's my uncle Sid. Hi, Uncle Sid. How hey, are you? Hey, Monkey. Can uh, I be on the show? Uh, not, not today, Uncle. I Sid. was an extra in Cocoon, you know. I, I know you were. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're, we got to do a game. It's four times the amount, and then what? Then they either have to answer the. He's with you. He's your family. He's my uncle Sid. Oh my word! Uh, they either answer the his question or. His mother take was my sister's something. I don't okay, know. Okay, uncle Sid. <laughs> Could you kind of calm him down? We'll we'll play uh, the game and move on here. Good luck to the uh, Mojo Magic and the Lima Beans have control of this twenty-five dollar question. Who first sang the song "I Want to Dance with Somebody"? It's worth twenty-five dollars, or you could dare the Mojo Magic. Need an answer. There. Oh, now worth $50. You could take the lead. Who first sang the song, I Want to Dance with Somebody? Double there. Now worth 100 or you could take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Oh, audience, who was it? Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, you are right. And let's have a $100 physical challenge with two people right over here. 